Carlin, I had a question from a client. Can a penis be too big? Yes, <laughs> it can. And I know this is like the horror of all people, but there is something about fit. Mm -hmm. There is a variation in the length and the width of the vaginal canal. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get super aroused, it's true that the cervix and the uterus kind of pick up a little bit. We get a little more space. Um, but depending on the size of your partner, right, mm -hmm. <laughs> it can never pick up enough. There's a wonderful product called the O-Nut, and there are these O-H-N-U-T. They're these little silicone little cock rings, but they're softer and they're cushiony and you put them on the end of the penis. So that way your partner feels kind of gripped because mm -hmm. that's why they're going all the way in. They want to feel like the whole, that muscles gripping on the penis because it feels nice. And then when it hits you, it kind of hits your clit and it's soft. Ah, oh, that would be nice. Yes. It's probably nice. Even if their penis isn't too big, <laughs> like mm -hmm. I was thinking that, um, a great way to figure out the fit that works for you is to get different size dildos and try them and mm -hmm. see which ones you like. I've always gravitated, like I like medium to small size penises. Like that's just what I find attractive. I, I look at big dicks and I, that just seems intimidating to me. <laughs> um, so I think I have a smaller vaginal barrel. I think being like just mindful of the fit and then making adjustments. I remember you saying too, that positions can help certain positions. Yes. So if your boyfriend has a super big penis, do not do doggy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're going to get extra space. You want to going to do positions like you're on top because then you can kind of stay up a little bit and you're in control of the stroke mm -hmm. or the spooning position when you're side to side. Because mm -hmm. that's also going to get you a little, a couple of inch or two out. And it's completely fine to pick up an O-nut or, you know what I mean? and that, Or limit the types of sex acts that you have. Mm -hmm. um, if they're a large penis, I mean, this is why I was kind of attracted to them. Guys with big penises usually know they have to do a lot of foreplay. Ah. So I found a direct correlation to the size of the penis to how much oral sex I received. Mm. Because it's like they know. Well, and I had the opposite experience with men with oh. smaller penises. Like they feel like somehow inadequate. So oh, yes. I, I would get more foreplay. Right, right. So, <laughs> yeah. And if you're a man watching this video, just remember everything that feels good is pretty much on the outside or two to three inches in. It's that urethral sponge and the ceiling of the vagina, the cheese spot. Um, mm -hmm. And if you can have an orgasm with fingers, right, mm -hmm. you're going to be fine. And if yeah. you have a big penis, pick up an O-nut or know that you're going to have to have more communication with your partner and she's going to have to be much more aroused and you're going to have to use more lubricant. And then maybe vary your stroke and come up with a nice glide. Yeah. Right? Not the pound that we see in pornography. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I mean, we love all penises. Yes. Yes. I definitely love penises.